What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Clay and Chick Outdoors. Just like the title says, this is a video about the Generation Next Angler Tournament that I just participated in here recently this past weekend at Lake of the Prairies, hosted by a good friend of mine, Mike Todorski of Prairie Eye Guide Service. So if you're looking for a guide out there as well, him and his boy run an excellent operation out there. And they're always putting people on fish. Lake of the Prairies is an amazing fishery for both good action and a chance at bigger fish. Now, I say chance at bigger fish, you're gonna have some better different fisheries where you have a, a better chance to catch bigger fish like your your 29s your your 31 inches like your last mountain your deep baker your tobin lake winnipeg up northern manitoba etc but lake of the prairies has an unbelievable average as you'll see from this video so what is the gna generation next angler tournament it's it's a tournament for the youth to get the youth involved and it's it's so good for so many different situations you have the the younger kids who it's just uh, an opportunity for them to get out and get fishing, spend the day, get some cool prizes. They have like, they had fishing rods, tackle boxes, knives, and a bunch of different things for, for the kids. It's also really good, I think, for when you get into the teenagers because they start to see what the tournament scene's all about and it gets them excited for future tournaments. And that's kind of what we really need as far as tournament angling goes is to get the youth involved in that because as you look around a lot of the tournaments these days it's a lot of usually the older generation yes there's some obviously some younger people getting into it too but we're missing the kind of an age gap there so tournaments like this is really good because it gets the those the teenagers kind of involved in it more i know carter and joey both they enjoyed their day and i guarantee now that the tournament setting the feeling is going to be in their blood a little bit and when they see tournaments in the future when they're old enough to enter them on their own they're really going to want to so it's so good for so many different situations for the younger kids for the middle-aged kids the older kids etc so this video that you're about to watch is the story of our day and how it went the atmosphere was awesome the trucks in the parking lot Everybody just kind of waiting to get in the water. Carter's in the boat with Joey, launch them out there. They come pick me up from the dock, etc. There's boats everywhere. They got to witness the whole takeoff thing, everything like that. So here's a little story of our day and how it went. I'll talk a little bit during the video as well. to give you some updates on our thoughts and what was going on there a little bit, but let's start the video right here. Sitting out here, the lineup. I got Joey, the winner right here. Excited, Joey? Yeah. Yeah? You gonna catch the big one today? Hopefully. Perfect. And obviously, you guys probably know Carter already. The video's there. We got the boat load, boats behind us there. I got Jason Cross right here. He uh, supplied us with leeches today. Gentlemen, say hi, Jason. Hello. Yes, leeches, two pounds of leeches. So now when we beat him today, he can say it's with his leeches. It's perfect. It's a trickle start. We're boat 10. So trick will start meaning that they'll take off in kind of order. Boat one will go, boat two will go, boat three will go. What's a lot of tournaments run a shotgun start where it's like you line up and you all go. So we'll be about probably about a minute behind the first boat that takes off, maybe two minutes type of thing. I got my first spot picked out. The boys don't know where it is yet, but it's only a mile from here. We're going to anchor with the talon on the first spot and fish vertical as well as pitch jigs up on a little hump. And uh, there's a little, there's another spot not far from there that I'm hoping that nobody fishes today too because we're gonna slide out a little bit deeper and hopefully plug some out of there too. But it's 30 boats. Obviously the goal is for first, but this is more importantly, it's for the kids, right? Yes. It's for the kids. Joey traveled all the way from Kenora, Ontario, which is how far was the drive? Like seven hours. Seven hours to fish with and me the for this. For and the camper overheated for a bit. The times were tough. But uh, Joey and his mom, Mary, got here and things are good. We are 15 minutes to take off. Pretty excited. Are you guys excited? Yep. Excited or nervous? I'm excited. Excited? Me yeah. too. Not so much nervous right now, just excited, right? Yeah.
So are we doing like more of a hop or more of a drag? Hop. hop. Slow hop. Slow, slow, little hops. Little hops. Drag, you'll end up catching bottom and weeds too much here. Okay. Sometimes it can be so finicky and they don't want it moving at all. Yeah, like I just... No. Net or no? Yeah, we'll stay for a little bit more. So we'll see what he's weighing. I'm thinking he's about a pound. Yeah. 1.4. I caught mine right below the boat. I just put him in there for now. I'm not taking him. I lost him. Okay. No, we're not moving yet. Fish for a few more minutes since we just caught a couple. Hold, hardly. Uh, I'll get it. I'll get it. I don't think so. You wanna? You can. He's actually pretty fat. Uh, you can slackline fall. You wanna keep? No, you wanna keep more tension on than anything. Okay, more tension. More tension, because you wanna be able to feel the bite. One point eight. We want. Ah, uh, we want to. We want to get rid of this fish at some point. Definitely want to get rid of that fish. We'll take him if it comes down to it, but we'd like to get rid of him. So the first ball was okay. We had good action. We didn't have really what we were looking for. We had a couple of 1.3, 1.4 ounces. We had some smaller ones we could have threw in the live well, but I was pretty confident of getting a five fish limit this day, so I wasn't really worried about getting those fish in there. The only thing is at this point, we're still basically looking to upgrade every fish. Joey was asking all of the right questions. As you could tell, I probably had some on the video. He, he wanted to learn what we were doing, learn how we were catching these fish. And you could tell it wasn't gonna be long before he started to pick up the bite. And you'll see from the video here, he does. He starts to clobber them, starts to do really, really well. So that, like I said, first spot was okay, not crazy, but we'll uh, go on to the next spot right now. And a boy. Size. Okay, I'll come. You fish, Carter. You fish. Fish. Okay, yeah. Doesn't matter if they're not. They're rather be ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, a good, yeah. that's gonna be a good one. Maybe in too big. Oh. If that's not too big, it's perfect. I think it's too big, though. A guy can dream, but I already know. Yeah, it's it's actually it's actually 20 and at 23 quarters. 23 quarters. So we got to the second spot, action was fast and furious. I was in the back of the boat, literally just weighing fish, trying to figure out which ones we were gonna keep, figure out which ones we were gonna throw back. Carter and Joey, double headers, steady it seemed like. Joey had figured out the bite, things were good. And I just spent most of my time in the back of the boat at this point of the day, just trying to figure out the, the rhythm. I was netting the fish. I wanted the kids to let me net the fish for the most part, not because I didn't trust them with the net, it was just that I wanted them fishing. I had them in the front of the boat. I had them at the, the perfect area where I wanted them flipping jigs to casting type of thing. So I was manning the back of the boat. I was dealing with all the fish. I wanted to be netting them. And they did good. As you see from the video, Joey was starting to pick up the bite pretty well. And he was he started to slam them. It's always different when you go to a new a new fishery. You're always fishing things different at the lake. Carter's got lots of experience at Lake of the Prairies with me. So he had already his game plan down. He knew what he was going to be doing. And Joey comes from Lake of the Woods in Kenora, where they fish obviously a little bit different. I didn't get a chance to pre-fish with him. So the first couple of hours was just a, a big learning curve for him of trying to figure out our way. But like I said, once he figured it out, he was on fire. Small? Yeah. Mm. 1.8. So I had just caught a 1.8 pounder, put him in the live well, and then all of a sudden Carter and I get double header 1.7 pounders. So now it's like, now we're gonna start to get our fish that are gonna be close enough to give us some kind of a good weight, but still 
the sad thing was is that I still wanted to replace every single fish. So it was like in any of our fish that came early were fish that I was hoping to have in the live well by the end of the day. And that's kind of the uh, frustrating part in that sense in the tournament angle because it's like, yes, you got five fish in the live well, but not one of those fish did you actually want to keep. So, but it was, it was good for the kids though, because it built up their confidence. And it was like, yeah, we got fish in the live well, things are good, right? If I'd have been throwing out all these fish, they would have been like, what are we doing type of thing. So it was, it was good. Everything was going quite well for sure. And as I'm dealing with these one pound, seven ounce fish, Joey hooks into our first fish, our biggest one of the day that has a, a potential to stay in the live well for the rest of the day. Ooh, that's a fat one. That's a fat one. I think this is our biggest one of the day right now. Go. 110. There we go. And we're on the board. Tell him, talk to me. Oh uh, no. Oh, okay. 110. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah, we're okay. It's only a matter of time. If 110s are here, so are 114s. Small? Two smalls? Big? No, you fish. I got it. I, you got it. You fish. I want you in the water. Little guy. How's it feel? Better. Better. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a gooder. That's Please gonna be. Too big. I don't think it is. I think that's perfect. That's, a fat fish. that's. I hope if it's under, that's one. This is one we want right here. Please. We're good. One eleven. I'm surprised it's not bigger. It's okay though. That's. It's still an upgrade. It's an upgrade. Yeah. Now you got to hang out a bit, Joey. Just took some time, hey? We can dream, but it's a degree. Guy can dream. Man, it's not close by much. Oh my. It's just over, it's 18 and a little bit. It's over by a quarter inch. I don't know, but yeah, probably. That fish would have been the dream. Yeah, no. Got it. That's gonna be close. Yeah, seven, 17, 111. We're gonna go back to those humps and stuff at some point and fish those. Cause I know a bigger fish will be around there. I don't feel as confident catching 28 inch or here. Nice one. Yep. Yeah, it's too big. Yeah, it is. It's 18 and a half even. That's the way she goes. Well, at some point, there's I know there's bigger ones around that area. We're not gonna we pro, unless we get How's that? that looks better. That looks better. Is even yeah. on bottom yet? Nope. Yeah, this one's better. This one feels big. This one feels big. Like, this one feels really big. Probably too big. Yeah, it's like 22 or 23 inches. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that at all. It's okay. Keep fishing. That was a. That was a good fish. Mm -hmm. Fishing for fun. Yeah, that's Yeah, it is useless today. Good. Yeah. I got it. I got it, Joey. You keep fishing. Not that I don't trust you with the net. Just let me. You fish. You guys are in some of the prime areas. I'm sitting more in the back, so. 
definitely too big. I'm not even gonna measure it, Carter. It's a good, I don't know. It's like 23, 22. Yeah, that'd be pretty amazing. We're two hours and 15 minutes in, so we still got three hours and 45 minutes. We have, we have a five fish in live all, we're doing okay. Uh, only thing is our biggest fish right now is 1.11 ounces. We got a couple of those, we got a couple 1.10s and 1.8. Uh, 1 so we're a little light right now. Gonna make uh, our third move of the day. It's another spot and hopefully we can connect. So the day is going really well. We're catching lots of fish. The atmosphere is awesome. The boys are pumped up. Things are good. We're still looking for four fish to upgrade. We got one in the live wall that's potential to maybe stay to the end, but we're still looking for four. Everything's going good. We decided to make a move to a new spot and literally Carter's first cast, uh, it's raining outside right now. You can tell this is why I'm inside right now filming this. I'm so glad I am because it's just downpouring. It's probably loud on here. I'll keep going anyway though. We get to a new spot and literally first cast, this happens. Fish, nice. Yeah. It's gonna be over. It's gonna be too big. Maybe it's 28. Oh, 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 oh. it's got a big tail, big tail. Oh, we might have did it, Carter. <laughs> we might. <have> did it. <laughs> you just got a bite on your rod too. We might have oh did it. God. Please, please, please. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. First come on. Come on. Please. I don't think so. No. no. It's twenty-seven. No. No, we need less than an inch. Yeah. Okay, Carter caught this beautiful fish. Unfortunately, we have to let it go. It's only 27 inches and we need 27 and about 5'8". So put her down, put her back, Carter. <sighs> Send her home. That fish is that close oh. to being perfect. Look at this like, fish. There she goes. Okay, still a good fish. It's all good, let's get one more. Oh. Yeah, I'm crushed. I'm crushed, Clayton. That's, that's, oh, that's. Regular, Dave. Be excited. <laughs> right, exactly. I yeah, I told you. So that fish is such a heartbreak. I'm so impressed with how the boys responded from it. They were more pumped up to try to catch another one than they were disappointed that we couldn't weigh this fish in. It was literally five eighths of an inch away from being able to go in the live well and being weighed in and basically locking up first place. Lake of the Prairies, the, the slot size is between 17 and three quarters, or it's, I guess it's 17 and seven eighths maybe, to 27 and five eighths. It's like 40 centimeters or 45 centimeters to 70 centimeters. This fish was 68 and a half centimeters. It's literally right there. Joey makes a comment. He's like, we're an inch away. Actually, we're like five eighths of an inch away, which is obviously just over half an inch. But the boys responded so well to that moment. It could have, they could have gone completely wrong and that's all they would have talked about for the rest of the day in a negative way. Nobody even said anything about being upset that they couldn't weigh it in. They understood the rules. They were happy. Things were, were good. At, at that point, I was like, I was really confident in the rest of our day and that the boys were gonna come in so clutch with catching some, some awesome fish. They did such just a good job of getting back in a mindset. And we stayed where we were for a little bit longer, hoping that we could catch another big fish there. And we might've stayed longer, but we weren't catching any of the right size fish. We were catching lots of fish, but they were all like 14, 15 inches. Those fish that were just over a pound, we needed bigger. So we made another move where we'd likely finish our day, but we still had thoughts in the back of our mind are heading to where I thought we had a potential of catching a big fish. As you can tell, we obviously did score one, just was just that short. 
So we headed to another spot where we're, like I said, we're likely to finish our day and this is where things went awesome. On the move right now, spot four or five, something like that. Carter caught that beautiful 27 incher, but like we talked about, unfortunately it's not big enough. Trying to still upgrade a few fish. We still got one fish in there, 1.8 ounces. I love to upgrade. Look at Joey. You excited, Joey? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. One twenty. Hour forty minutes left. Yep. Lots can happen in that amount of time. How's it feel? Got, I got the. I got the. Yep. Oh, oh, yes. Might be good. Might be good. Maybe. 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 Please. Maybe. Maybe. 1.9. It's an upgrade anyway. He's between 1.9 and 1.10. Because he flashed 1.10 a few times. Watch your foot for a second, buddy. Fit. Okay, coming. I hope so, Carter. This one. Feel good? Yeah. Too big again? Oh, no. We'll be close. Don't high stick them. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's perfect. I say two or one fifteen. One fourteen. Oh. Carter, that fish was a five ounces is huge right now. Yeah. Like, that's a huge upgrade. Huge. Okay, unfortunately my head camera died on that one. I was changing batteries, but Carter put in the perfect fish. Just under 17 and three quarters. One pound, 14 ounces. Like, that's been like kind of our top fish for when they're just under our slot size. So we're sitting, we're sitting awesome right now. We've got two fish, one pound, 10 ounces. Two fish, one pound, 11 ounces. And one fish, one pound, 14 ounces. Things are looking good. A couple small upgrades. If that one fish would have literally been five eighths of an inch bigger, we'd be like, whoop, whoop, but it wasn't. It's all good though. It's still a beautiful fish, beautiful day. Everything's going amazing. Joel, you having fun? Yeah. You love the intensity? Yeah. Is this like your first like tournament kind of? Kind of. I've done a few really small, small ones. Small ones? Yeah. This is awesome. Joey's doing good. He's putting fish in the boat. He's contributing and everything's been awesome. So how long do we fish here before we Go for I'd say we give like an hour, 45, 45 minutes for the end. Let's see what the next half an hour brings here. 20 minutes. 130. Because if we can upgrade a few fish. We can upgrade those two one ten to one fifty. Yep. Stay here and try and get a couple more ounces or risk a big one, you know? Wow. That's where it's all. I know. Oh I know, Carter. The thing is, besides that big one there, we haven't had much going on. Doesn't mean the right fish can't move in there either. I'm happy how today's going. We're going, we're doing good. We're doing really good. We're doing really good. Doing really good. Things are good. Things are good, you guys. Things are good. Oh yeah, Nat, Nat. Net, net, perfect fish or too big. It's gonna be too big. It's okay. Too big. Carter, Carter, Carter. <gasps> too big. It's too big anyway. But if, if I know if these ones are here though, you guys, there'll be bigger ones here too. Is that 21? Yeah, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna measure them. Yeah. So 
still got an hour and 23 minutes. I, I think we stay here. I I don't blame I don't I don't disagree. Uh yeah. Rod, get your rod out of the net. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Oh my god, it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh my god, it's, so it's perfect, you guys. Good. good. He's, He's good. good. He's good. <laughs> He's good. 112. We have a, we have a pretty good weight right now. We're just we're missing a fatty. We're missing a fatty. Oh baby. Oh baby. I think that's too big. Oh, there's a bait button. It's gonna be wet. That's definitely too big. We've caught some nice fish today. Those bait buttons won't work very good anymore. <laughs> this is one of the bigger ones of the day. Um, that one was, ooh, ooh, yes, yes, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, oh, That could be unreal right now, you guys. That could be unreal right now. It's under. It's under. Two pounds. No two way. Pounds. <laughs> it's two pounds, yeah. Unreal. So what are we getting out of a one? One ten. That's huge. There's another six ounces. Yeah. No, we've got, we've got some nice fish, you guys. That wraps up our day right now. We caught a clutch fish that's two pounds or just shy of two pounds in the last few minutes we're gonna have a good a good weight we're not gonna have an amazing weight but we're gonna have a good weight life's good have a fun day boys yeah. be cold it depends there could be a lot of good weights we you know what I'm very happy with our our day we made good we get we made good decisions we made good choices we fit like that's all you got to do is like, you got to look back and go, yes, I'm happy with what we, yeah, our day. Exactly. Exactly. No, no. Just put you right there. Right here, bud. <laughs> Mikey said to leave one on that we want possibly weighed if we're out. Okay, so I left the marker on. I I'm gonna start it and then I'm gonna give it to Cindy. I didn't. Yeah. Is there one big one? We had a 27, and they'll change. I'm gonna put some water in there now. There's one with the marker, Carter. You'll have to tell him. Okay. And where's that camera? Okay. Okay, you go up too. And it's recording already, okay? So we got to the weigh-in. And one of the boys experienced it all. So I went to the, the dock. We dealt with the fish. We put him in the, the well. They came in, obviously, to make sure they're all alive, which they were. I take care of the fish during the day very, very well, adding ice to the live well if needed to try to cool them off a bit as well because the water can get pretty hot. They were live. These fish were, like, kicking crazy. Things were insane. But anyway, the boys, I wanted them to experience the whole thing. So Carter and Joey, they took the fish up. They got to experience the whole measuring thing, how the system works, right? It just goes back to that whole getting them ready for a tournament for one day on their own or a, a, a bigger setting type of thing. And they can see how the fish is measured, how it's weighed, how you have to sign your piece of paper, all that stuff. So the boys took everything up. And uh, I think I talked a little bit out there about our final weight and everything. So I'll, I'll roll that clip now. Well, we uh, weighed in, Carter, 
and young Joey took our uh, fish up, we had 9.14, so respectable. Not, not the goal, but we, we set a high goal. I felt like a, a big fish obviously was kind of more of a little bit of a lottery. We got super close to that 27 incher, but our goal was like probably about nine and a half pounds. So we're not far from it. It's a good day. Kids fished well. I think everybody contributed to the live well yeah. almost equally. Life was good. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a fun day. We'll do a little bit more of the video here of the awards and that stuff like that and talk more about what's going on here. You see the big white tent, but yes, wonderful, wonderful day. Love it. So yeah, that was good enough for a second place finish. There was one big fish caught that day, uh, just a fish that was under 29 inches that easily could have been us. We were very happy with our day and our plan. We only had six hours to do it. It's a, a shorter tournament, which is good because yeah, like I said, you have the younger kids there too and you need to keep them interested in it. It's just a way, I said, to get the future, just get the future going for everybody in that sense. So it was good enough for second place. Joey did well, the smile on his face says it all. I'm so happy that he made the trip out. Everything like that just went so amazing. Any words, any last words, Joey? Uh, it was fun. It was fun? It was fun. Yeah? I caught a lot of fish. You caught quite a few too, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You did good. You came in clutch. I did come in clutch. I got yes. lucky. I pulled a big fish out in the last 10 minutes or a bigger fish. It was awesome. I'll, uh, I'll just probably do a different wrap up though, but just probably wrap up the whole tent side of it. So thank you everybody for watching. I want to say a special thank you to Mikey and his crew. You guys did an amazing job with the fish at the weigh-in, the prizes, the supper, the getting the kids involved in our sport. It's such a good thing. There is a tournament next year. It's already scheduled for July 3rd, 2021. I believe that's a 40 boat field. There's only 30 this year because of COVID. You can, I can guarantee that that tournament's gonna be full next year. So as soon as it comes out, you're gonna wanna get your team in. You can bug Mikey as soon as you want probably too and send him some messages and get your team in. Prairie Eye Guide Service or Mike Todorski, get your team in for next year for June 3rd. It's such an awesome event for the kids. They all get prizes. I, I just, I loved watching the kids go up and I have one awesome story about the, this younger kid that goes up and I know that everybody's telling him all the adults are, don't, don't pick the, the hard case tackle box, pick all these soft ones, they're nicer. So he just did what he wanted to do and he picked this soft, this hard case tackle box and walking out of it with a smile, ear to ear was so priceless and he opens it up and it's like full of stuff. So it was just, it was so cool in that sense. I also want to give a, a special thank you to Double D Fencing who uh, sponsored our tournament entry fee even though we never asked for anything like that. It was very gracious to them. So thank you very much, Darren. We do appreciate that. Thank you very much to Jason Cross for the leeches. The leeches worked well, as you could tell. We went through a pile that day. We don't even know how many fish we caught. I honestly, I tried to go through the video for a bit and try to pay attention. Honestly, it was over 70 fish. Like it was insane. It was just fish all day long so thank you very much jason he also makes these awesome fin weights that are very good to sometimes if you have a fish that's a bit stressed out in the live wall and they're not sure what's going on you can put the fin weights on them for a bit helps them kind of just keep their balance for a bit and then you can take them off as the day goes but he makes like i said he makes these awesome fin weights i'm always looking for something that's got a little bit more oomph to it for the bigger fish and those are awesome so thank you very much jason for the leeches and the fin weights and also a very special thank you to Joey and his mom for coming out all the way from Kenora, Ontario. I know it's a long drive. They had some circumstances and some situations come up and they still decided to make the trip. So thank you so much. You'll find Joey's channel linked right here. Go check him out. Do me a favor, go subscribe to him. He's a 14 year old boy who is so enthusiastic about this sport and he just wants to make videos one day as well. So let's go boost his subscriber count up. Just go smash it. Thank you everybody for watching and as always, get outside.